Welcome back to The Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. Today we're going to be talking about how to repair deep hive bodies and honey supers when they've gotten a little bit wide and the ends have splayed out and your frames have started to fall down in the box. I'm going to show you a very simple and quick, easy way to fix that using a table saw, so stick around. Part of beekeeping is wear and tear on your equipment, especially since it's stuff that bears a lot of weight with honey and is out in the elements virtually all year, at least most of the year. Sometimes our boxes splay out a little bit and our frames fall down inside and past the frame rest, just like you see here. So the frame rest is right here where my thumbs are, or my thumb, and the frames have fallen down in between there. This usually happens because we don't keep our frame rests clean of propolis and then we force our frames back into the box and that will cause the box to need to shift open to make more room for that frame. So one way to avoid this is to keep your frame rests clean at least once a year. Uh, scrape these free of the propolis so that your, your frames will fit nicely inside. And the second reason is sometimes wood just kind of bows out. It's just the nature of wood, the nature of how it goes. It doesn't mean that your box is no longer any good, so don't throw it away, don't burn it. I'm going to show you how to fix that here today. So the dimensions of a honey bee box with a length of style 10 frame hive should be 16 and a quarter by 20. Now this one here today, I imagine is going to be a little bit more than 20, and that's why the frames are falling down in between. And as you can see, it's 20 and an eighth, and even a little bit over. So we need to come up with a strip of wood that we can glue and staple in place down here to pretty much widen the frame rest out. So I'm going to cut something on the table saw and then we're going to put it in place so our frames won't fall down anymore. Beekeeping equipment when it comes to boxes is about three quarters of an inch wide. We want to bring up our table saw blade to three quarters of an inch wide or a little bit more so that we can cut that strip that we need. So right here, I'm just a little bit over three quarters of an inch. This is the board I'm going to be cutting a strip off of so that I can put it in place and widen that frame rest. Now this board, like I said, is three quarters of an inch wide. So that's how deep our frame rest is going to be. Now we just need to cut it to width so that it extends that frame rest out. And I said we're gonna do about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch. That's where getting this fence out comes into play. And I'm going to measure against the fence with my tape measure. Now the gap on this box is a little bit larger than usual when I have boxes where the frames fall down in between. So I'm going to actually cut the width of this repair piece to a quarter inch, which is very generous. We're gonna run this through to get our quarter inch width and then cut it to length to fit our box. And remember, you always want to practice table saw safety. Gloves, goggles, face mask, whatever. I'm not going to go over that in this video. I believe it's everyone's responsibility to figure that stuff out on their own. But be careful. You don't want to you don't want to miss any fingers. The width of our box should be 16 and a quarter, which it is. And so that's the exterior dimension. We need an interior dimension in order to cut this piece to the right length. And the interior dimension is 14 and three quarters. But if I put it at 14 and a half, it would still fit just fine and I wouldn't have to squeeze it in there. So I'm going to cut this to 14 and a half inches. I'm going to put my fence to the side. Get my guide out, measure 14 and a half on the stick. And then carefully just line this up with my blade and cut it to length. Now of course to repair this, I'm gonna to need to take all the frames out. 
one thing you want to keep in mind is that it's usually one side or the other that's splayed out. And you want to make sure that you put your support on the side that actually needs it, not the other one. So this is roughly what's going to happen. It's going to go in there and look just like this. All I've got left to do now is to get my air compressor set up with my staple gun and my wood glue. And we're almost finished. So I've got my wood glue ready. This is what I use, Type Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue because it's waterproof and it's for exterior use as well as interior, but boxes are going to be outside. I've got my repair piece, my staple gun with narrow crown staples. This is about mm, probably three quarters of an inch uh, long or deep. And just keep in mind when you're using staples that you don't want ones that are too long that will go through this material and the other side of the box. So this is a quarter inch, this is three quarters of an inch, and the total length is an inch. So you really want to use three quarters ideally so that nothing is sticking out to poke you. So I've got my air compressor hooked up. I've got my box on end just because it's easier to work with. I'm going to go ahead and run a, a bead of glue and it doesn't take very much. This stuff will spread out. And you want to make sure this surface is, is clean, of course, and mine is. And then put it down and make sure that you line it up right here flush with your frame rest. And once it's in place, I would line up flush one end first, staple it in place, then the middle, then the other end. And then put two more staples in it just because. And now it's ready to go. We're going to put the frames back in and see what kind of difference that made. Okay, here's what it looks like up close. Now instead of these frames falling down in, they're sitting right on our repair strip. And as you can see on this end, my frames are pushed up tight against the inside of this frame rest. So there's no way that these can fall down anymore. And of course most of the time they're going to be centered more like that. So our job here is done. As always, thank you for joining me. And uh, if this is something super helpful to you, drop me one of these. Uh, subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.